guys, welcome back to another video of Monkey Pie Labs. Today we are here with Sarah and we are going to have another Italian dish. We're going to make pizza today. So let's get into the first stage. So we have one cup of warm water, not hot. If it's, I like to put my forearm underneath the water and if it's too hot for your forearm, then it's too hot for the yeast. We have one packet of fast rising instant yeast. To add in a tablespoon of sugar. I realize that you are not making the sound effects that you normally use. I have been consciously trying not to. Okay, what's that? Good to know. <laughs> okay, and then um, we let the yeast sit for a minute or two. Yeah, and you kind of let the yeast get a bit frothy. Um, and then we can start adding the flour. And so this is my mom's recipe. She got it from a Betty Crocker cookbook originally, I think, but she's like tweaked it over the years. And she has found that this specific flour works really well with having the, with having the dough rise. Is it a specific brand? Yeah, this King Arthur bread flour. Because before, when we just used like all-purpose flour, it didn't rise mm -hmm. as much time as much every time. But like every time we use this, it, the dough rises really well. Flour IQ. It has IQ. It's, it's intelligent flour. Probably more intelligent than us. Okay, so we're gonna add um, two, to, two and a half to three cups flour overall. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna add one cup of flour at a time. Um, two, we'll add in one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. I saw it's an extra virgin olive oil. Yes, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna just mix this until everything is combined. And then we'll add our second cup of flour. Choo -choo -choo. And then you can add more flour as needed, but the dough should be slightly sticky, mm -hmm. but not too sticky. Actually, I can. It's time to knead the dough. I'll let you put some flour on my hands too, so it's not, so it doesn't get stuck. And then you knead the dough for like several minutes. Bit? Well, okay, so to knead, I'm taking the base of my palm and like digging down to get oh. all <sighs> the strength of my arms in there. I really love kneading dough, particularly when I'm in a bad mood that day because it's great to take out your anger on. And I just add some more flour as I go normally because the more you knead it, the more the flour gets work in and then it gets more sticky. Do you want to try kneading it, Yasi? Oh yeah, sure for that job interview that I didn't get. Yes. For my previous boss. Woo! Yeah, and as you knead it, you can kind of like turn it and fold it so you get all oh, okay. the angles. And you know it's at a good um, stage where if you take your finger and you press down, if it bounces back a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fun to poke. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to add olive oil around the dough ball. So if you could pour some olive oil into my hands. So not a ton. Just a little that's, bit. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then you pick up the dough and spread the olive oil around. Oh, that's a nice technique. Add the dough into the container. Then I'll put a dish towel or something over it to make sure it stays nice and warm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let it rise for 45 minutes to an hour and we're gonna put it in a warm place. That's the way. now we wait. I think I might stick it in here. Okay, are you ready I'm so excited. to take the dough out? Yes. Check my non-existent watch. Let's see. Wow! Not bad. 
Okay, so we have a pizza stone here that we're going to cook the pizza on. And um, I'm gonna put this? some oil on. Um, I don't usually use a rolling pin, actually. Oh, at oh, all. Oh, and the oven has preheated. We preheated the oven to 425. Yeah, but before we put the pizza on the pizza stone, put some olive oil around here to spread it around so it doesn't stick. Okay, so now we'll just spread the dough. Yeah, so you just slowly spread it out. So now we can put the sauce on. Oh, do you yeah. want me to open it? Sure, you can open it. That's your job. <laughs> but yeah, for the sauce, um, you can, you know, obviously add as much sauce as you want. I like to use this little eight ounce container. I think it's perfect for a one pizza this size. We have some different cheese options here. Uh, I guess I'll add the mozzarella first. Yeah, and I'm just gonna do a simple cheese and pepperoni. Let's do some Romano. Let's add some Parmesan. Now let's add the basil. <laughs> It's more than enough. We can put the rest of the basil on top. Okay, let's add the pepperoni. Like yeah, a... but you need to do it randomly. I Me always... saying that and I do it in a very I symmetrical way. I, I always end up putting it in a circle. <laughs> I think that would be funny. Okay, so we have uh, parsley flakes and also oregano. We'll add these spices. Can we add a little bit Salt of like? Hmm? Can we add a little bit of more on top? More cheese? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So I will like add more mozzarella on my half because that's just like it this way, and just because to see some pepperoni on top. Wait! Wait a minute. Yes, on your half. What do you mean you get half the people? <laughs> Three people here. Is this entire thing yours? <laughs> yeah. I haven't eaten breakfast, lunch, and now it's my dinner time, so. Okay, so we will put this in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so let's take this out of the oven. Woo, yeah, and you, keep it, you should keep it until the oven until like the crust is slightly brown. That's it. And you shouldn't cut it right away, even though you might be impatient, um, but let it cool a bit. But yeah, this is my mom's pizza recipe. Shout out to my mom again for the best pizza ever. I have my handy pizza cutter here. Okay, are you ready to try this pizza? Okay, well, this is your half. So ah. oh, oh, oh no, mine broke. Mine is perfect. You see? There. My half. <laughs> because the cheese on top put the everything spatula. together. Uh-huh, sure. Cheers. I'm, cheers. I can't pick it up because it's broken. Mm. I think it turned out pretty well. Do you like it? I like the dough. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is how I make pizza, my mom's recipe. And yeah, I think I'm Great pretty job. happy with how it turned out. Yeah, your mom will be proud after watching yes. this video. Dedicated so guys, don't her. forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.